Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can teach students a fun way to learn frame animation in Photoshop CS5. Basically what I ask the students to do is um, just draw a picture, anything they want, um, but with this technique. First of all, to get it set up you need your animation layer down the bottom. So to bring that up you go Window Animation. Also, we're going to add a layer here, and in this tab down here, on the animation timeline, we want to create a new layer for each new frame. We want to make sure that new layers are not visible in all frames, so make sure just this one's ticked. Okay? And that's how we get started. I'm just going to grab a brush, and I'm just going to draw a little bit of a hill. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new frame. And the new frame appears over here in the layers bar. I'm going to add a little bit more. Now each new frame is actually on top of the other. So if you want to paint a, something in the background, what you can actually do is come back to layer 1 and then add a frame here and it will draw underneath that layer so it might be that you want to put a sky in but you don't want the sky to go over everything awesome grass so I'll quickly finish this now what I'll have at the end of this tutorial are a sample of some students work that have already been completed And I'll speed this up at some stage. Now it might be at the same time you're going to start drawing a little bit of a building. So we're just going to have a little cityscape on top of this hill. The zoom tool is also very good. And you can put some windows in the buildings if you wanted to. I've got my resolution at 120 pixels per inch. So when we zoom in, it is nice and clear. Okay, so eventually I'm going to have a city, just just my brush size. On top of this hill. And I'm adding lots of detail and adding a frame for every bit of detail. Now if you wanted to do a sky, if you just simply add a frame and draw the sky, and paint the sky in, let's make a wider brush. If I just simply do that, it's going to go over. So how do we get that behind? As I said before, this is what we need to do. We need to come back here to layer 1, and make sure this frame is 33, and now add... <coughs> frame and as you can see it will go behind those layers even though we don't want to draw and fill in the building so you do something a bit like this you just go around it carefully but the good thing is we can't go over the drawing so I'm going to carry on and do a bit more work so you can see it in a bit more completed form and then at the end of this video you'll see some students work. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.